Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've had a few questions about intersecting faces with models, so I decided to make a video. And so there's a couple of ways to go about intersecting faces uh, or cutting out faces in SketchUp. And one of the easiest ones is if you have a couple of models, I'll just explode these. So you have, uh, say you want to cut uh, a hole out of this cylinder here, so you, you make a cylinder through it. And then you can select these two faces and we'll say intersect with model. And again, that's right click intersect with model. With selection is with whatever you have selected. And model is just whatever geometry is intersecting. So we'll do that. And then we'll cut, we'll cut out these pieces. And so you can see we have the inside piece here. But we're running into an issue where this cut piece, even though there's... Uh, a bunch of lines here cutting this circle out um, it doesn't always work that cleanly and you can see there's probably there's a, yeah there's a line here that's not intersecting and yeah it's not not really that clean we still have a little piece in there so I'll just get rid of that uh, yeah so anyway it, it's not yeah and actually it got rid of the hole that we had cut in the middle here so that's not what you want ideally so we'll just undo all of what we just did back to components. And so yeah, now we have two, two separate components. And this is what you want to work with, something that isn't uh, going to be destroyed or uh, manipulated by an object that's in it. If they're components, I can move this object out freely. Whereas if they're geometry, uh, let's just explode these again. Uh, now I can highlight it, but it also highlights all the other geometry that it's connected to. So it's probably not the best habit to be in. Uh, so we'll just we'll use these two uh, components. And now what you'll want to use is the solid tool set. And you can go up to uh, we'll turn on the toolbar, and you go down to uh, solid tools. These right here up top. And they basically function. If you're familiar with the Adobe Creative Cloud, they sort of function like the Pathfinder tool. Um, so in the sense that, uh, they cut out and subtract and add models together. So we'll just, if you just want to cut out this whole piece, uh, we'll say, uh, subtract, and then we'll subtract the second model. If you hover over it there, it says subtract first solid from second and keeps the result of the model. So if we say, example, click this one and then this one and click this. Uh, it gets rid of the big cylinder and leaves us with the concave uh, cylinder that was inside. And again, if we click the small one first and then the big one, it cuts the small one out. And then again, there's a bunch of other tools up here. There's uh, this one here, which is Union, which will basically, if we if we cut out uh, or if we show hidden geometry, um, that the the line connecting this cylinder together was actually removed. So basically, this one gets rid of the, all the geometry inside, and sort of if, uh, in that respect would optimize your model because it will be getting rid of a lot of the geometry that's on the inside that you don't see. And uh, so there's this one here, which is intersect, and this one will actually get rid of the two big pieces. And like the last one, which got rid of this on the inside, this one actually leaves this. And so there's that way of going about it. And then there's uh, another, you know, another one. If you have a couple of components that you actually want to combine together without having to, I mean, an another way you could do this is now we'll bring these down here and we'll hit explode and then you can erase the lines. But it takes a little bit of time. Fast way to go about that would be, you know, drag your components together where you want to combine them. And then we can just hit uh, this one up here, which is outer shell. So we'll hit that. And then look at that. It, it combines. Uh, all the components that you uh, uh, that we're touching, and so we we can even let's just uh, we'll drag this down here, and we'll bring these over into this one. And we'll try and center it, I guess, a tiny bit, and then we'll just highlight all of it, turn off that hidden geometry, and then combine. I mean, got this weird shape, but it's all one component, and it is still a component. SketchUp leaves it as a component, and this isn't a plugin. This comes with uh, SketchUp, and uh, so it's definitely something to utilize. It's definitely an underlooked uh, plugin, and it's definitely an easy way to, you know, if you want to make chain links or I don't know, 
a quick release pins or something, you know, a detailed model. It's really easy to just cut it out and, uh, you know, uh, really give your models an extra level of depth. So uh, hopefully that answers any questions you guys have had. If you have more, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching.